hi guys welcome back to my channel this is sweet budgets if you are new here welcome so it is tuesday morning it's super early it's about 7 15 or 7 16 a.m yep that is it right here um i woke up early today because i just couldn't sleep so i decided to shoot this video I want to share an app that I found um, if you are a iPad user um, or an Apple user, you can find this app on the App Store and it's very similar to the Excel file. Now what I love about this app is that it can easily formulate your budget to however you want and I think that's why I fell in love with this app. So it's very similar to the Excel file. Unfortunately, I did try to find this on Android. So I do have an Android right here. I have been using tabs since I think early 2013. I actually got my first Samsung Note 8.0. So that one was like an eight inch with a pen. So I'm very used to using um, a, a tab and writing on it and then I did kind of like upgrade to this 10 inch Samsung uh, Android but this one unfortunately did not have a pen um, I just connected it to a keyboard and then I would use a mouse to work on it and I did treat this as somewhat like a laptop but it really kind of was limited to what I wanted it to do um, so I did switch over to the iPad. Basically, in Android, you can find the uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So I did just try to download it and basically it's there. But for those of you that do want to learn a little bit more, unfortunately, this is kind of like for the Apple products. There might be some similar apps online. I'll try to see if I can find them, but I did want to share this with you guys. So what you can do with this is that I created my own personal budget. So you can find this template in, in the spreadsheet itself. And what I added were tables that could help me to look at my numbers and how I wanted to work with it throughout the month. The first tab that I do have here is for the August budget. So I am kind of like um, planning ahead, but these are rough estimates. The first table that you do see here is my income. So I'm just going to bring my data. Okay. So the first table here that you can see is my income. So this is actually my already my net income, but it is still an estimation just in case. So I just put in my income and then I will put in my actual here. And what it does here is that it adds all of this formula. You can see it's very easy down here. When you do click on the total button, you can see that it has easily added all my income according to the Excel um, columns or lines. I don't know what the correct terms are, but I'm basically just trying my best to share this. So what I did was I totaled up my income and then you can see here that this is my expenses box. So my expenses box, the amount that you do see here is for the table that is below here. This is more to my fixed expenses that I do need to pay on a monthly budget. So typically they are the same. Um, and I did put in food here. Normally I don't put in food. Um, and I do that as part of my video, but I just decided to put food in here. So I have my categories, my budget, my actuals, just in case it fluctuates. And it also does have the difference. So for example, if I do budget out 666 for my utilities, um, I actually pay, for example, 625 
and then the difference here would be 41 ringgit for so for utilities i did put in a lump sum but i also created another table here that lists down all of the utilities and my subscriptions that i use so you can see that there are new subscriptions these are pretty much new i have gone premium for one or two of my um subscriptions and then you will see that the total here actually reflects this amount so it brought it up here okay all of this is formulated you have all of these cells here that has been formulated so i'm just going to put it back so that you can see so this cell is a total of all of these added together all the totals here are actually the sum of the columns that i want them to add I also do have some charts here. So I put in charts, for example, this actually shows me where most of my spending goes to. Most of my budget goes to credit card and loans. So what I am doing is I am putting in half of the money for my house that I did purchase for the future. So my credit cards and loan take up about 35% of my income and the lowest cost is my petrol and toll which is at three percent this is basically just a chart to show the budget versus my actual but because i do put in the exact same amounts um, except for utilities you can see that it does show um, that it's the same for both you can also add in your pictures if you want to. I just wanted to add in this thumbnail that I put for my YouTube channel. And then my next tab is actually my sinking funds. So if you go back to my first table here under August budget, this is the formula of my expenses, which you can find here. Okay, so that formula that total i used in this column and then uh, my balance which is my actual sinking funds is in this column so it's like for example 1185 and then i budget on a weekly basis so 1185 divided by four which you can actually see down here. This is the formula that I used and it auto calculated to 296 ringgit and 25 cents. So I brought this total to my next tab, which is for my sinking funds. So if I go on top, the top table itself shows the total sinking funds that I have already saved. And then my first table that i have is for savings and emergencies so i put all my categories in my savings and emergencies and then i put in the amount that i want to cash stuff on a weekly basis and then i also put in the balance brought forward so my previous balance and then the total will be here so my next table is for my actual sinking funds so i have my categories here the amounts here balance brought forward and also the total so very similar it's the same as the savings and emergencies table and then below here what i do is i actually have a table that will help me to um, figure out what i have in my balance from the amount of the sinking funds so for example for the first week i am stuffing 296 ringgit and 25 cents so savings and emergencies will get 190 so that has been formulated here and my sinking funds um my sinking funds is getting 106 ringgit which is this total right here 
okay and then the balance is 25 cents so it will automatically deduct the balance so i know how much i have left so for example if i want to put here my coin jar i'm gonna type in coin jar and i put here um 25 cents you can see that now the balance the balance is zero ringgit so i don't have to worry about not having enough money because i know how much i have left all right so that's for my sinking funds okay, so moving on to my loans i did create a loan table so for example here i have my auto loan so this is the amount that i'm starting off with so for example how much is the total that i need to pay and then how much is paid the balance and also the duration of months left over so i know exactly how long it will take for me to pay off this loan so just bear in mind that i did put in my house loan in advance i think i'll only be paying in 2025 if i'm not mistaken so it's still a while um but i just decided to pay in half of the amount and then this is the balance of uh the duration and this is my credit card so for example how much i need to pay off so my credit card is capped at fourteen thousand, and then this is the amount that i need to pay off and then this is the amount that i have paid and then the balance this is how many months left okay so i also created a tab for how much i have already saved so in my savings i have saved thirty thousand ringgit and in my sinking funds two thousand six hundred and forty one so the total here is thirty two thousand six hundred and forty one ringgit all right guys so thank you so much for watching this video um i do like this app more than excel because formularizing it here is simpler than excel okay guys thank you so much if you do like this type of video please do hit the subscribe button and like and also leave any com comments below bye